another lovely morning. Not bad temperature. I don't have a sweatshirt on this morning, but it's still cool. Probably 65 degrees, which is great. We're trailer pumping today. And we got a good one. I don't think it's a lot of yardage, but I think they got 10 orders. But we're, we're up here at Lake Nocona. Well, you've seen some of my videos before. Uh, got an erosion problem we're going to try to fix. We're on a project here. Actually, I pumped. A lot of these walls and stuff probably 10, I guess about 10 years ago. <laughs> Bass fishing. How are y'all? I'd wait till they were hungry, then try them. That usually works best for me. <laughs> so, what has happened when this lake was up this winter and spring and part of summer? waves were erosion <laughs> eroding under his patio over here so we're gonna we got some holes cut up there we're gonna fill those got some steps here we're gonna work on I don't know if I'm step on it or not How long ago would we do this project? You doing your, huh? How long ago? Yeah, was it 10 years ago? 11? I, I don't remember, Jeff. It had to be. I had that because I know I, I pumped one of them with that old 301 Schwing pump. That would have been about 11 years ago. I mean, you pumped all the concrete here, including all these walls here, and that one that goes around all the way. The fireplace, you did it out of concrete. Yeah, the chimney and everything. All the wall is, is done. Do you ever use that fireplace? Never have. Never used it. No, that's what I'm trying to get to. Right? Get down here. Yeah. I would have done it this year, but that, that thing came up. And if I don't fix it, it's going to fall down. I, don't, I can't afford that. <laughs> so. Now, is this, this rock, is it, did you... You sprayed it on and stamped it. Well, no, it was sprayed on. We didn't stamp anything. It just sprayed on, and then they they cut the lines in it. it that's what that is. Is a hydraulic limestone mixture. It looks real. Yeah, it does. Well, I knew you got into some of that. What was that coating or the texturing? Oh yeah, we. Used you'd done that. skim. What do you call that? Overlaid, yeah. I knew you'd done some of that. I didn't know if you maybe overlaid this wall. Well, yeah, it is overlaid because that was that's just a concrete wall, you know. You, like I said, you poured it. Right. And but they spray the overlay on. Is that what you're saying? It. Yeah, they mix it up. They, what they did, these guys came. I hired guys out of Oklahoma to come do this, or Jer my wife did. <laughs> right. And uh, what they do is they'll spray it on, and they spray it on about an inch thick, probably. Huh. And then they go back in and they'll they'll cut the lines in it to make the rocks. And then they come back and then they'll put a dye on it. Which a lot of that dye has gone away. I'll just stain it with some acid stain. It, it looks like I mean it looks like Austin stone. The colors of it. Yeah, yeah. It turns out white because it's a limestone mixture. Right. But it's a hydraulic lime, so it withholds pretty good. That looks good. <laughs> there y'all can see here's the difference this is the this is the part of the wall that didn't get textured or hadn't been yet and then here's the part that has been so
don't know how I did it, but I'm pretty sure we primed out. Should have taken about 30, 33 strokes. Actually, a little less than that, but I counted 33. And, yep, we primed out. So, you know, when you go downhill like this, and this is steep, I'm, it's probably about 16, 18 foot drops. You ready? And then, then cross the back uphill. Yeah, that, that made me happy to get that primed out like that, so. take a couple of hoses off and start the project or the other other side of the project this was just a piece going down to the boat dock we'll start the erosion control stuff next one of these days we'll get this thing finished I don't think you ever will. I, I bought one two years ago and it's, it's a constant <laughs> project. Oh, it's coming along good. Surely we got six or seven left. Okay. What what kind of slump do you think are you looking for? I don't know, six, seven. Okay. Let's add about fifteen to it. pumped out we're blown out uh, try to back up here and watch this truck get rushed the pump out real quick all right we're gonna load some hose and call it good tell you what quite a bit of the afternoon left but we may go fishing let's we'll see how that works out so we'll talk in a little bit job done this morning I come over to the lake cabin or the lake house got a bite to eat took a little power nap relaxed for a little bit and uh, now we'll go hit some brush piles and see what we can find so we can aggravate some crappie this afternoon while we got a couple hours of daylight left so anyway glad y'all are coming along or hope Hope you enjoy the video. A little bit of work in the morning, a little play in the afternoon. So we'll uh, we'll see what we get into. We may catch a bunch, may not catch any. We'll just see. Got to try though. You won't, you won't ever know if you're sitting on the couch. So anyway, uh, this will be a two-part video. Uh, it will be a two-part. It'll be part of it's muddy feet concrete pumping. Another part's muddy feet TV. I'm going to post it on both channels and. Uh, that way, guys can see the, the Muddy Feet TV and see some of the funner stuff that we do. Um, you know, appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share when you get over. If you go over there and check out some of our videos, we got a little bit of cooking, a little bit of hunting, and a little bit of fishing, and then uh, just some outdoor recreation stuff that we like to do. So, and the guys on Muddy Feet TV, you, 
go over to Muddy Feet and Concrete Pumping and uh, see, see what we do for a living. So, a uh, little bit of interesting stuff on both channels. I, you know, when I first started, I kind of thought I just had one channel that did it all, but I, I talked to some guys that, that did, did some YouTube stuff and they, they advised that I, you know, split them up. And uh, I, I don't know how if it'll work or not. Then but we'll do one channel for both. But you know, either way, we we've got two channels. So uh, the concrete pump definitely does better than the, the TV, the Buddy B TV. But I'm just not able to post as much on it as I am the, the concrete pump and stuff. So, but anyway, just give you an idea of kind of what our days are like. Sometimes we get it. We get a job in the morning up here at the lake where I have a, a lake place and you know there's time we'll go out and go go do something fun. So anyway, um, we'll get set up here in a minute and get the camera strapped on and get, we'll see what we get into. We'll talk to you in a minute. Alright, there's a there's a graph, there's a brush pile. We seem to be set up in a pretty good spot on it. I'm gonna start out with an eighth ounce jig. I've got a sixteenth ounce jig rigged up on another pole. We're gonna see how the fish respond to this. First. Fish on. Oh, he spit it out. Mad gum. There's a fish. Oh crappie. A crappie. Pretty good looking fish. fish Ooh, this can pull a little better he ain't much bigger though. A little better crappie right there. Good looking fish. That's a fish. That's a decent little pulling one right there. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Look at that. Oh, come right off. I didn't know I had that fish on. That's another good one. That's another good crappie. I was messing with the trolling motor. And caught that. Ooh, I think we hung a good one. I thought I saw a good signature on the radar there, and about the time I saw that good signature, I hung on, hung on this guy here. But woo, <laughs> you can see the 
good 10 and a half, 11 inch crappie right there. 